Hey everyone and welcome to the video. Today we're going on vacation and it's going to be a long car ride. How am I going to keep the kids occupied? As you know, one of the beauties of homeschooling is going on vacation during the off season. So with that in mind, I want to share with you the road trip printables bundle I put together for my family and yours. So let me show you what it looks like and how we'll use it on our vacation. So to give more detail into this bundle, let's start with the cover. It's in coloring book form and at the bottom it says this book belongs to. So each of your kids can have their own copies and they can put their own names on it and color it however they want it. And then the next page will come with the road trip planner cover that we will get to later in this video in the bundle description and it'll be very helpful for moms who uh, benefit from planning their vacation trips. And then the next page we have the road trip alphabet game. Basically on this page the children would look outside the car window and anything they find that starts with the letters they would write it down. The next page is tic-tac-toe. We have six different grids. For our vacation we plan on putting them in plastic page protectors and then using dry erase markers so that they can use them over and over again and not have to worry about extra copies. And then here it'll come like this in horizontal uh, but it's printed out vertical. In this way we also are going to be putting it in plastic page protectors and then just coloring this date as we see them but you definitely don't have to do this. You can have it just regular paper because you don't need to reuse them if each kid has their own copy. Um, but it's really fun especially to keep up with and parents can also play along too if they're spotting license plates they can say hey we found Missouri or Colorado or something like that. So it's a fun game to play for the whole family. Next is Road Trip Bingo. There are six cards included in the bundle if you need all 10, all 10 are uh, available to purchase separately, but six of those would be um, the same. So definitely, uh, I wouldn't think that you would need more than six, but if you need the four more, the price would only be $3 more. It comes with six different cards, like I said, and you can play this several different ways. So one way that you can play in the car is if they actually see the features on the cards like uh, say they found a stop sign or a bus stop or you know any of these pictures they would color it in and then whoever gets five in a row would be bingo but also this bundle comes with a call sheet so here are the six different cards and the bundle comes also with a call sheet and you can cut these out in individual squares so that when you're at your destination whether it be an Airbnb or hotel or family house or anything like that you can play it when you're not on the go also so it's definitely a fun game to do when you've actually gotten to your place and you're just having some downtime uh, in between activities and so you can call them out and another way I also have cover cards. You can cut those out as well so that what we plan to do is put them in the plastic sheets as well and so that whenever they find one they just color it in with their dry erase marker. But if it's there's one way that you can do it is um, just have them by themselves and then if you're sedentary at your wherever your destination is you can place the cover cards on them like that or um, what you could also do is put Velcro. You can laminate the bingo cards with um, Velcro. Well, laminate them with plastic and then put Velcro on them and then on the other side of the cover cards put the other side of the Velcro and have a way to keep them on there like that as well. That's an idea that you could use. And that comes with um, two sheets of cover cards. And then next we have the scenery hunt. It's kind of like a scavenger hunt for scenery. 
You have hospital, golf course, restaurant, fire station, playground, baseball field, library, windmill, hot air balloon, gas station, car wash, train, park, trolley, rest area, bank, hotel, church, school, warehouse, and cemetery. And then obviously, you know, you whatever your family does, if they get them all right, you can, you know, give them a, a bag of candy or something like that if you wanted to make it more interesting. Next, we have Logo Scavenger Hunt. The logo icons are Burger King, Marriott Hotel, Uber, Domino's Pizza, BMW Vehicle, AT&T, Starbucks, Honda Vehicle, Shell Station, Ford Vehicle, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Walmart, Tesla Vehicle, U.S. Post Office, Amazon, Wendy's, UPS, FedEx, Dunkin' Donuts, and Target. Next, we have Road Sign Hunt, which is another type of scavenger hunt. We have Stop Sign, Do Not Enter Sign, Exit Sign, Speed Limit Sign, Railroad Sign, Hospital Sign, No Parking Sign, Crosswalk Sign, No U-Turn, One Way, Merge, Rest Area Ahead, Road Narrow, Right Turn Only, Roundabout Sign, Yield, Deer Warning, Interstate, Road Closed, Winding Road, and Handicapped. Next, we have Vehicle Hunt. Um, scavenger hunt for vehicles. We have an ice cream truck, food truck, VW bus, school bus, garbage truck, RV camper, ambulance, fire truck, dump truck, motorcycle, delivery truck, freight truck, construction, police car, scooter, semi truck, or tractor trailer if you're in a different region, uh, military truck, bicycle, taxi cab, jeep, helicopter, tow truck, sports car, or cement truck. And then next we have Hangman. If you laminate them or put them in a plastic page protector, you can go on and on. And you don't need different copies. But if you want, you can, like I said before, you can print out as many copies as you want for each page. So if you wanted to give maybe like five or six pages um, for each kid, that would be okay. And they have five or six different options or whatever the number you want. But then, you know, you can easily just erase them if it's if you laminate them or put them in a page protector. And then there's word search. Um, there's only one at this time, so you don't necessarily have to laminate them. You can just print them off by itself. And then there are would you rather cards to kind of keep the uh, road trip interesting. It comes with, uh, it's very fun to have different uh, conversations with each of them and, and it definitely sparks different conversation starters. There's Drawing Faces. This is one that I would say could be uh, laminated or printed out. You can print them out as many copies as you want. There's Tracing Design, and then also they can draw the faces. There's four different faces to choose from. They can add hair, they can do hairstyles, facial expressions, anything like that. And it is uh, up to them to decide what the face will look like. Then we have Play Dress Up. And this is kind of interesting. It comes with six different body figures. You can laminate them or print them out regular if you choose. But it's basically like you can do little facial expressions and hair designs. But this is a good way for the kids to get more creative and design clothes for the people. They can Maybe you can make it interesting and have them get ready for the vacation you're going on. Say you're going to an amusement park. What would a person wear to an amusement park? Or if they're going skiing, something like that. So you can definitely make it interesting if they need some ideas. But I'm sure that norm, you know, normally kids don't have, don't need extra ideas for being creative. They're, most kids are naturally creative, so I'm sure you won't have any problems with that. Next page is Color Animal Friends. This comes with two separate pages. And there are 12 faces per sheet. They are on dotted line. So you can trace it and color them. And this is the other page. All kinds of, um, all different faces to choose from. And they are all unique. So 24 faces in total. And then here we have drawing grid. Uh, like I said, you can do them in different as many copies as you want or you can put them in plastic as well laminate them or put them in a plastic sheet and it's basically just a drawing grid is like extra help for drawing different things and giving more of a uh, visual of where to draw so it's definitely a a nice activity to add to it if you have a drawer in the house
a little artist in the house. And then again, we have here we have the dots game, and this will be the last game that's included in the bundle. Um, I don't know if you've ever played dots, but basically, so each person would do a line, say from one line to the other, and then it'd be best if you did it in different colors. You can laminate this as well, or page uh, page protector, or just print them out regular. And basically, whoever completes a box, you put your initial inside that box. And then whoever has the most squares uh, is the winner. It's definitely a very long game. It can be, especially with the grid that I've provided. It'll probably be, I mean, you could add several people to this game. Whether you're in the car or at your destination, it takes a lot of time to play. Okay, so now that we're done with the games, we'll move on to the uh, road trip planner. And so our first page after the cover will be a road trip bucket list. I've included boxes, check boxes, to, uh, for you to add what you want to do on your trip along with a notes side to, to keep track of everything. In the next page, I've given you a packing checklist with the categories of clothing, toiletries, essentials, food, entertainment, and others. You can print off as many copies as you need. Like I said, you may not need more than six, or you could also print them out um, per person that's going to you, going with you um, on vacation. And so, uh, print out as many as you need here. But it comes with six different categories. Next page, we have road trip expenses in the categories of date, amount, purchase, and if you use cash or card, along with a note section. This is pretty helpful for uh, staying on budget for sure with vacations because we all know that vacations can definitely get out of hand and we need to keep a tally of everything. And then next we have the vacation meal plan. I am definitely one who has to sort everything out. Meals are something that we genuinely uh, have interest in as a family. And so we like to basically... Uh, we splurge a little bit when we do go out to eat. And so what I normally like to do when I plan is find a vac find a hotel that offers free breakfast. Then we usually get a hotel room that comes with a, a fridge and a microwave so that we can get some lunch stuff. And then normally we usually do our splurge meal for our dinners. And I have provided up to six days but you can definitely, if you if there's more days than that, you can definitely print out another page and then just edit the days to make it, you know, day seven, day eight, day nine, and etc. However many days you need will suit you. And then finally, a road trip journal. This is obviously, you'll probably want to print out copies for as many days as you're going. I um, am, am a big journal taker, and so I like to document on paper everything that happens to me in my life and everything, and you definitely want to journal your vacation and things that went right, things that were, went wrong, and the memories involved because, I mean, yes, a picture says a thousand words, but those thousand words can also be on papers for you to not forget ever. <laughs> so um, if you like to document your trip on multiple venues then along with pictures and video you can also write them down in your journal and you can print out like I said as many copies as you need for your journey. Okay so when you come to shop.ourhumbleden.com this is the page that you will see first. If you want the bundle you go to bundles on the left hand side we have all of our categories here. You click bundles right now there's two but the bundle is also here or you can go to party games the bundle is here as well, but if you want to purchase them individually, we have the coloring activities sheets. It comes with the two coloring pages of the uh, animal friends faces, the play dress up page, the drawing faces page, the dots page, and the drawing grid page. Or you have the option of the activity games page, uh, bundle by itself. You have the tic-tac-toe, the license plate game, the road trip alphabet game, hangman, word search, and would you rather. Or you have the scavenger hunt separate with the vehicle hunt, the logo scavenger hunt, scenery hunt, and road trip hunt. 
or you have the option of just purchasing the bingo cards. Ten cards total comes with the cover card sheet and the calling card sheet. Each one is marked at $4.50 or all of them together for $7.97. If you just want the road trip planner, you would go over to planners. Scroll down and it is right here for $5.62. And it comes with all the pages right there. Okay, so that's it on today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're interested in purchasing the Road Trip Bundle or any of the sets individually, you can find them at shop.ourhumbleden.com and I will link all of their locations in the description box below. If you want to see more videos like this one where I share with you products that will help and have fun, like this video and follow my channel to see more. If you know anyone who would benefit from this Road Trip Pentacles bundle, feel free to share this video with them or the link provided in the description. Well, that's it for today's video and see you all again real soon. Bye!